another very important video to share with you guys this time. Um, not very exciting, but very important video. And something that I have probably been wanting to share for quite some time now. It's been on my list, but due to changing, I thought I would be better waiting until I actually have the new products um, to let you guys know about it. So you probably guessed by the title of this video what this video is going to be about. Since Pixie and Roxy were puppies and ever since we joined with the vet, we have had them on flea and worm prevention, which is something that we get along with our health plan. The girls are on a health plan, we pay £12 for the each of them and that gives them free flea and worming treatment every month and it also gives them free boosters and it gives us like weight checks, nail clips, all that kind of stuff for £12 a month, which is really good. We are joined with Bates for Pets and it's something that I've actually not discussed before was the girls um, plan. So that is what is included in our plan as well as 5% of consultations and we get a free consultation every year. So that is the kind of benefits of our health plan. Now every three months we get Advocate which is the spot on which goes on at the back of the neck to help prevent fleas and we also get a tablet that we give every six months to prevent for worming. I decided to change these after going on holiday and if you haven't already seen my holiday vlogs please go and check them out. There are three parts to the holiday videos so if you haven't already seen them go ahead and check them out. Um, I'm, I was really excited about making those videos but after being on holiday or while being on holiday should I say I had a few issues with... <laughs> a visitor, an uninvited visitor, something that I have never ever experienced or had an issue with before and this was ticks. Now being where we were on holiday I never thought of you know setting all this up and changing the medication before going on holiday because I didn't know we would be in kind of tick region. I knew we were going to be in a kind of in the middle of nowhere but I didn't know it was going to be in the middle of nowhere with farms and forests and all that next to us so I really didn't know but um, if it's something that I, I knew and, and it's the same with my mum as well. My mum never knew that it was going to be an issue or anything like that either so we were totally oblivious to the fact that we were going to get ticks absolutely everywhere. Um, but we went on one of the walks and it was the forest walk we went on and I came back and it's in my part three video. If you've seen them in the bathtub, you can actually clearly see the tick. It's a black spot on Roxy's back. I don't know what it is about Roxy, but she attracts all the bugs. Pixie we didn't have an issue with. Misty never had an issue. Roxy on two occasions had ticks crawling about her, just one, one time and one another time. Um, I managed to catch them though before they clamped down on her skin which was really good so I managed to get them off her before any damage had been done which was very lucky to say. But in that bath I seen this thing and I'm like oh my days what the heck is that and I literally almost died on a spot so I quickly got it off her which was good it was huge I'll put the clip in of um, Roxy in the bath and you'll probably see the black tick on her um, but oh it was absolutely disgusting oh it was horrible vile oh and they carry so many diseases so anyway, that was the first time and after that I kind of blow dried them and I checked their skin, I brushed through their hair, I checked in their ears, I checked everywhere, you name it, I checked it. Okay, so that was the first tick we found and I managed to get that off. So I was really, really paranoid and I gave them their spot on for their advocate for their fleas during the holiday time because it was due that time. So I gave them that and then a couple of days later we went on another walk in the gardens which was where Pixie was like on top of the rock. If you've seen the video you'll know what I'm talking about. Pixie was on top of the rock. Um, it's the pictures that are, it's the picture that's on the end bit of my video. That's where we were. So there's a picture in that video as well of me holding Pixie and Roxy on a bridge next to a kind of cherry blossom tree. Anyway, 
So that was when I found the second tick and I was holding Roxy getting a picture taken and I just seen this thing crawling about on her moustache and oh my goodness, I was just like that to my dad who was taking a picture at the time, I'm like, you're going to need to wait. I said there's something on her face and I just put her down on the ground and before I could do anything I just held her down. It was like something out of a movie, it was like, right, hold down there, don't move, that kind of thing. And I just couldn't do anything but grab my phone quickly and just take a quick picture because I never took a picture of the last one and I was trying to use my imagination for what it looked like to Google in it to see what it was. I didn't know if it was a tick or a flea or what, I didn't know to start off with. So I held her down onto the ground and of course there's people behind me. Pixie's going off her head because there's different people that she doesn't know. Ro Misty's going off her head because Pixie's going off her head and poor Roxy's like, what the heck is happening? I didn't do anything. She's like, pause up, I didn't do anything. But I managed to take a picture of this tick and I zoomed in and it is the most vile thing ever. I am so glad I got it off her face in time because it was probably crawling about going like that, oh my goodness, look at all this hair, where's the skin, where can I clamp down on, there's just too much hair here, and honestly, so I took the picture and I managed to get it off her, got it off her, that was fine, and again, I was back to being paranoid on this walk, I couldn't get back to the cottage quick enough, like, my total day was just thinking about what this thing was in my head, I was back on to Google, I was back on this, and then I eventually found um, I found a picture that looked very similar to the tick and it looks like a deer tick. Now we went into a village afterwards and went to a pet shop. Well, when I say a pet shop, it was like a wee tiny store that done like bird seeds and all that and some kind of dog products. Um, it was all kind of pedigree and bakers and all that kind of stuff. So I went in there and got a tick remover just in case we had any further issues with any other ticks, anything like that, then I would be prepared. So I was told by the, the pet shop that I could put a bit of Vaseline on it, which would then suffocate the tick and it would drop off. But I also picked up these tick removers. So these are them there. I got two sizes and as you can see, it's got the wee in bit for taking the tick off. Um, this cost me about a fiver. It wasn't cheap, but I have these now just in case we have any tick issues. But thankfully I didn't need to use them. Um, so when I went back to the cottage, because we're Wi-Fi only, I couldn't phone the vet and ask the vet, you know, what to do, you know, if you get a tick or if that even was a tick, I didn't know. So I sent him a Facebook chat message and um, because I was Wi-Fi, I could only work off the internet. So I managed to Facebook chat one of the team members who contacted me back and said that it most certainly looked like a tick. Now, when I asked about medication, because as far as I'm aware, the current medication that I had Pixie and Roxy on were only for flea and worms. They were not covered for ticks, which I wasn't entirely happy about. Um, so what they said to do was when I come back, pop into the vet and they can um, give me um, new medication so that they are prevented for flea, worms and ticks, which is what I done when I got home. So they are, they have changed medication. They haven't had the medication yet because I gave the spot on, you know, during the holiday time. They are overdue their worming treatment because I was told by the vet that if you give the, the new flea and tick prevention, then two days after you should give the worming medication. So they're about two weeks over on the worming treatment, um, which is, okay the vet said it's absolutely fine um now the medication that we were on was the advocate which was a spot on for the fleas and the drawn sit which was the worming tablet which they got every six months now that was free on the plan because we pay the 12 pounds a month for each of them i just go in every three months and pick up new supply of medication and every six months they get weighed for their worming tablet which is fine and I have everything marked in and um, I've got a note written down when they're due this kind of thing and I also get text messages from the vet to say it's time to give Rox, Pixie and Roxy their drawn set or it's time to apply Pixie and Roxy spot on so it's really good that you get those messages for reminders as well. 
Now, the new medication I received, I returned the old stuff because I didn't need it. Um, I returned it and because I returned it, I got the new stuff. If I hadn't have returned it then, I don't really know what my bill would have been. I have recently found out the cost of the new medication if I wasn't on the plan, which is a bit ridiculous, might I say. But let me show you what the new medicine is. Now, they haven't received this yet. They are going to get it a week on Monday, so not this month. In fact, yes, this Monday coming. Um, so Monday, what day is Monday? Let me see what day is Monday. So they are due their medication on the 8th. So on one day I will give um, one or the other and then I'll wait two days and they'll get the next one um, two days later. But yes, next week is when they are due the medication. Now let me just go over and talk about this medication first. Um, and what it is that I have. So this is, and I'm not going to show it up close because it's got obviously my details on it and stuff like that, but this is the um, flea and tick prevention. As you can see, it has a picture of a flea and a tick on it, which is disgusting. But these tablets, I kid you not, are like bullets. Honestly, look at the size of them. They are huge. And I think they're quite a soft tablet. They said they were quite meaty in flavour, so it's just like a treat for the dogs. So they should be able to eat them um, and take them okay. But knowing my two with taking medication, that might be a bit of an issue. But this is the tablet here. So it is called Prevecto. And this is for dogs between 4.5 and 10 kilograms. And obviously it's for animal treatment only. And... Um, I have read the information leaflet so I kind of know all about it. I'm not going to go into it um, because there's a lot of words in there that I cannot pronounce and I'm not going to, I'm not going to stress myself out with that. But this tablet is the flea and tick and it's to be given every three months. Now that has changed because the spot on which was covered for, which was covering them for fleas was given monthly. So we went from a month to three months so they're getting this on the monday and i will not need to give another one for three months now i've only been given three months supply of everything so in three months when my last tablets run out i will go back to the vet and i will pick up another three months supply just so that i don't have too many tablets kicking about um and i can keep in tab with the vet and get weight checks all that kind of stuff and keep in you know keep that in line which is really good so that is a big kind of chewable tablet and that covers them for three months which is really good and it helps prevent ticks as well which i'm really happy about because it's something that i never really thought on before i even went on holiday as i said um, but i'm really glad that they are covered for that now anyway the next one we have is now that's Bavec, the next one we have is the girls worming tablet which is oh which is what they are due um i probably could give this two days before um they get the pavecto and then they can get the pavecto on the eighth um but i'm just going to leave it until i'm off because I'm, I'm actually working at the weekend night shift that's me back at work now um starting from friday so my holiday i have I kind of have the holiday blues at the moment because my holiday is like almost over. Like the 23 days just flew in. I really don't know where the time has went. But I'm going to wait until I am off to give them these because they've not had them before. I don't know if there is going to be any side effects or anything like that. So it's probably good that I will be off to monitor the dogs after getting these. But the worming tablet is called Milquantil and it's 12.5 milligrams over 125 milligram tablets for dogs. And I got six of these because they have one of these every month. That is it there, if, if it focuses for you guys to see. So that is it. We give that every month. So their worming tablet has changed from one every six months to every month so it's kind of reversed itself so it's a wee bit of it's a wee bit of a nightmare to get my head around you know kind of you know what is what and how often you know that kind of thing it took me a wee while to get my head around it um, but that is their new medication 
I found out the price of these tablets. Now, if you do not have your dog on a plan, like I have them 12 pounds a month each, so I pay 24 pounds a month and I get all this for free. I get free um, vaccinations, all that kind of stuff. If you are not on the plan, these tablets for one dog cost about 68 pounds all in. Now, for two dogs, that would cost me over 120 pounds just to prevent them from fleas, ticks and worms. A hundred, over £120, you guys. Like, that is absolutely ridiculous for some tablets. For some tablets. So I'm so glad that I have them on the plan. I am so happy that I now have them covered for absolutely everything. This worming tablet prevents heart and lung worm. Lung worm is one of the ones that I don't think that they wear protected against in the Johnson. So I am really happy. They are now fully 100% covered for absolutely worms, for all worms, heart, lung, you name it, worms, and fleas and ticks, which is really good. So a bit of a hiccup, obviously, on our holiday with that tick issue. Thank goodness none of them clamped down on her skin. I don't know what it was about her. They were attracted to her for some reason. I don't know if ticks, um, you know, are attracted by certain things. I have no idea, but Pixie never ever had an issue with ticks. Misty never ever had an issue with ticks. What are you doing? Making herself comfy. So I really don't know what it was. And it was a couple of days after that Roxy went into the grass and sniffed the grass. On, like, on holiday, she sniffed the grass and this bee clung to her moustache and she was frilling about trying to get this bee off her moustache and I'm like, what is it with you and bugs? Like, really? What is it with you and bugs? They must just like you. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank goodness I managed to catch the bee things off. I was going to call them something else, but I better contain myself on my channel. But um, yes, thank goodness I got them off. It's something that I wasn't really 100% aware of, like just in general, like ticks. It's something I would never have thought that they would have had to have been covered for where we are living. But after, obviously, them ha after her having these two ticks on her and me researching it, it's all I ever seen on my Facebook because I'm, I'm because I like all these Shih Tzu pages and stuff, it's all I ever seen people posting stuff about ticks and ticks and tick season and this one's to be the worst and all that kind of stuff so it just kind of made me more aware that ticks are a really big deal and if they get them, they carry all these kind of diseases that can transfer into your dog and make your dog really ill and then you end up with an even bigger vet bill. So it's like, thank goodness I have these now. But yes, that is us. So I just wanted to let you guys know what flea, tick and worm prevention that we are on. I would have done this video a while ago and I was going to talk about the spot on and the ad the spot on and the worming tablet that they were on, but I didn't see the point in me doing that now that I had changed medication. Um so it just took me a bit of time to do this video because I had other videos planned. Um but yes, I am glad that I shared that with you guys. If any of you guys have had any issues or um, any questions about fleas, worms or ticks or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Let me know, um, you know, anything to look out for um, when they have, when a dog has a tick or any, what your kind of experiences are if you have experienced anything with fleas, ticks or worms, let me know in the comments below. But I am going to go just now because these two are currently having a roly-poly about on the floor and they are currently having a stare down seeing who's going to get up first. <laughs> so they've got the wind up their tail so I'm going to go and sort that out right away. But thank you very much you guys for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and as I said leave me a comment. Ladies! Leave me a comment down below and also please hit the alarm bell down below and you can receive notifications on when we upload a video. But thank you very much you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!